Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Commander Lendat here with another video on DC Legends. Today guys we're going to be taking a look at Supergirl, the latest PvP reward that we received from the season that just ended. And taking a look at her, she is an energy character. And let's read her bio briefly. Karasor L has all the awesome powers of her returning cousin Superman but with the impulsivity and uncertainties of a teenager. Affiliation, Scriptonian powers, jumps into battle to protect her team from devastating critical hit attacks and strikes back with her area effect powers. And that's what her specialty is. She's an AoE attacker and everything she does is AoE. Now, taking a look at her stats, we can see her speed is her highest, which is at 81, but that doesn't make her a fast character. She's an average speed character, really. She acts about third every time in the team that I was running with, which was Green Lantern, Batman, Cape Crusader, Doomsday. She used to act third, so if she's not fast, she's average speed. Second to that is her strength and her stamina. Now, she has low damage and average hit points for her level. She's at level 30 right now because I didn't want to spend a whole lot of resources taking her to max level because I just kind of like didn't feel like that would have been a good decision on my part because, again, her damage is really low. We're going to see that as we go along, and she has average hit points. Now, Supergirl... Before we even start talking about her ability, she's not a damage dealer in spite of having the uh, name Super, right? She, she's not a damage dealer, that's not what she does. She's a niche character, I guess you could say she's the AoE queen, and she's more of a debuffing kind of support character, control character. Uh, and we're going to see that as we go along. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at her abilities. First of all, we have Heat uh, Vision Sweep. This ability has light damage, and it, it adds a plus one critical down to all enemies. Um, the application does not go up, so it's only one stack of critical down. Now, the damage goes up by 60% at max level. Nothing special here, guys. Just simply, this move is simply a move to debuff the enemy and lower their critical hit chance. That's, that's just it. Now, her second ability is Strength of Hope. This one has plus two affinity resistant ups to all allies, uh, which is a very useful buff, by the way. Uh, the only downside is it has, it has a short duration, meaning that it expires before the cooldown for the ability ends, so you can't re you'll be a turn without it, and then you can reapply it again. Now, at level two, you get a random teammate, actually, just gains turn meter, and this goes up to 28% when you max his ability out. Uh, it's just probably her best ability, but nothing special here, even though, again, the, that affinity resistance is, is really useful, um, and the turn meter is not bad. Now, her third ability, this is supposed to be her big hitting ability, is Boulder Slam. And uh, this is a very situational attack, mainly because the condition that this has is that it has a 50% damage, but it's only when an ally is below 50% health. Which, again, I don't think that this is something that you want to do unless you have a team that can revive. I'm going to talk about more about that here in a minute. But uh, this ability, uh, in my experience, uh, it doesn't hit very hard. Uh, the damage it seems really low still. Um, in the, the battle you're looking at, which is a PvE battle, um, you can see the damage is low. And these enemies are level 9. Anyway, so moving on to her passive ability, we've got Save the Day. Now, in this ability... She gains turn meter up if an ally is dealt a critical hit, and this goes up to a 30% at max level. And it also gives her two agility up charges when it's max, which makes Supergirl a little bit faster and a little bit tankier as well. But again, this is very, very situational. And it's kind of canceled out by her first ability, which again lowers the crit chance of the enemies. So, I don't know, like I think that the first ability cancels this one out, and this one seems pretty useful. Uh, again, but you don't want your team to be getting critically hit all the time. Moving on to her team passive, we have House of L. And this ability applies a minus 20% critical damage to all enemies. This goes up to 34% when you max it out. Not the best leader ability in my opinion, but it's useful in certain cir circumstances in PvP, especially with PvP having a lot of critical hit uh, people uh, like uh, Harley Quinn, Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn, the Joker, uh, green arrow and whatnot so so a lot of people are using critical hits in PvP so this ability is use, useful in those situations now some synergies that I believe that she's good with now Supergirl sort of fits in any team she helps mitigate the critical hits and the critical damage uh, but she doesn't really have like a special team that she can go along at least from what I can see uh, to me she's like a Swiss knife she's like a jack-of-all-trades right she is um, 
She doesn't excel at anything, is what I'm trying to say. Um, anyway, some synergies I think she has. You can use Green Lantern as a leader, because lowering the critical hits will allow his shields to last longer. And this is good for longer fights in PvE, as well as fights that are not too difficult in PvP. Um, Zatanna, her leader, leader ability, uh, Supergirl's leader ability, coupled with her sweet vision, lowers the enemy damage, which will allow Zatanna to uh, be able to keep the team at almost full health. Again, very situational. Uh, also, Doomsday, she gives him two buffs. Again, those affinity resistant counts as buffs or his uh, stacks that he needs to be able to use his ability. Uh, affinity resistant makes him more resilient, not that he needs it. And guys, if you haven't had a chance to check out my Doomsday Spotlight, you can do so by clicking on the YouTube card above because he's a very tanky character. But again, having more resistant to the affinity and, and being tankier is never a bad thing. Some of the pros that I think this character has. She can lower the critical chance for, um, which counters, I'm sorry, the, the, the current PvP meta. Uh, and though she won't be changing the meta in any, you know, anytime soon, uh, she does, does counter, uh, like I said before, uh, Emerald, Archer, Green Arrow, Suicide Squad Joker, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, just to name a few. And lowering the critical damage helps a team's survivability overall, which is a good thing. Uh, affinity resistance on all allies is a good buff to have, as I mentioned before. Again, being able to mitigate some of the um, extra damage that you get when you get hit by your counter class is always a good thing. Um, now, some of her cons, the things that are not so great about Supergirls, her damage is very lackluster. She hits for very, very low damage, which I think to me that's a, her downside, especially in that boulder slam ability. Um, because it doesn't hit as hard and it has a very restrictive cooldown in my opinion. Uh, the damage of it, of Boulder Slam, is depending on an ally being below 50%. And unless you pair her up with teammates that can revive, such as Doomsday, Grundy, Swamp Thing, White Lantern, Sinestro, just to name a few, um, you know, I wouldn't recommend letting an ally drop below the 50% threshold unless you have a good healer in your team that can actually bring that up quickly. So, very situational. I personally don't like it because of that. And her passive is very highly dependent on an ally receiving a critical hit. And if you run into a team that doesn't rely on criticals, then eh, it kind of becomes kind of useless. Like, you know, it really is going to sit there and not really do anything because, again, you're not being critically hit. So, this, these are my thoughts, guys, on Supergirl. This is uh, the uses that I think she has. I'm a little bit disappointed, I'm not going to lie. I was expecting a little bit more out of her, but... You know, she's not a terrible character, definitely not the best character. She's not going to be going into my PvP team anytime soon, and I'm not expecting to see her in any PvP teams either. But anyway, what do you think, guys? Do you, you do get Supergirl, and if you got her, have you leveled her up? Have you tried her in PvP, PvE? What do you think of her? Let me know. Do you agree with my comments? Do you disagree? Is there anything that I missed? Comment below, let me know, or you can tweet me at Commander Landed, and let's continue the conversation right there. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe so that you don't miss out on all the great content that we'll be bringing you in the future. And also, guys, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, as that helps out a great deal. And as always, have a fantastic rest of your day. See you later, guys.